Peru is a beautiful South American country that is loaded with epic adventures. We were able to hike in the famed Sacred Valley, bond with the local wildlife, go rafting, and eat some <coughs> local delicacies. If you're curious, then join us for an epic journey into Peru's Sacred Valley, McCaleb Goes West style. We started our trek in the vibrant city of Cuzco. Not only is this ancient Incan capital full of culture and history, it's also a great place to get used to the high altitude before proceeding to the Sacred Valley and Machu Picchu. We were in Cusco long enough to get some valuable bartender training for the world famous export, the Pisco Sour. We also tried out Peruvian clubbing, though it must be said, this is probably better for younger and more attractive people. It's so pretty. We're in the Sacred Valley. Mm. The Sacred Valley is a region in Peru's Andean highlands, stretching roughly 60 kilometers. The name originated because it was considered to have the best land in the region. As such, it was not part of the Incan Empire, but instead it was the property of the emperor, or Inca, himself. We hiked at different locations in the Sacred Valley, which provided the opportunity to take in stunning landscapes and ruins of the region. But no matter how skilled of a hiker you are, proceed with caution due to the high altitude. The area is roughly 2,400 meters or 8,000 feet tall. Even after a modest hike, we were feeling winded. One of the hardest hikes I've done because of the altitude. It's <laughs> tough. My heart's beating fast, but... You're rewarded with this. So worth it. <laughs> Given the altitude, you may wonder if the hike is worth it. The answer? Absolutely. At the top, we were able to stand by ancient Incan ruins and soak in one of the most beautiful natural views we've ever seen. Considering the scale of this empire and how long ago it existed, it was a surreal moment that we will never forget. If you're in the area, then do what the locals do. Go to a chicha house and drink the namesake drink. Chicha is a fermented maize drink that is still very popular. And you may also see adorable guinea pigs, or as the Peruvians call them, qui. You may be wondering, are guinea pigs pets in Peru? Well, kind of. From oh cute to oh my. So this is the guinea pig inside. Oops. Inside they have this mint, so yes, uh, the, they, the, the locals, they make this guinea pig with that plant. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> if you can get past the horrible face, roasted guinea pig is actually quite delicious. This has been a staple in the Andean diet for over 5,000 years, so this is a classic when in Rome type of thing that we highly recommend. Mm. It's good. It's good? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I like it. Our animal tour of Peru continued with the truly majestic creatures known as llamas and alpacas. We visited a llama farm and we felt like a bunch of giddy five-year-olds at a petting zoo.
Here's Ramsey. And Cornelius. <laughs> this one's aggressive. Savage. <laughs> Betty and Shaggy Pete are just so hungry. Well, this is pretty cool. I'm so excited. Look at baby Jose. So cute. He just ate your hair. <laughs> he ate your hair. That's okay. It's got spit in it. Oh, Fluffy Steve. Did someone say adventure? I'll pack up my bags. <laughs> Mind your manners, Bartholomew. Animal fact, Peruvian cats, also adorable. Ole Taitambo is a village in Peru's Sacred Valley, roughly 45 miles northwest of Cuzco. Other than offering ancient ruins of the Incan Empire, the village also offers the opportunity to whitewater raft. We only had one full day to explore, but we couldn't pass up the chance to experience this amazing place from the water. Hard to get a rhythm right now. Our excursion ended in a big open field between the mountains, and it was beautiful. Though we were a little tired, we didn't let that stop us from getting a big old travel high, best expressed through dance. Our tour company even provided us a homemade meal right out there in the open. It was an amazing experience. Peru's national drink is a Pisco Sour, and I don't think there is a better place to experience it than here. We hope you enjoyed our adventures in the Sacred Valley of Peru, a truly spectacular place to visit. And if you liked the video, please hit that like button and subscribe. We really appreciate it, and we look forward to bringing you more adventures on Caleb Goes West.